dissolve in nitric acid to produce a green solution and a brown gas. Acids are common laboratory reagents and are characterized by a sour taste. An acid is defined as any substance that is capable of accepting a pair of electrons. Acids dissolve many metals and react with bases to form ionic salts. Acids are supplied in either liquid or solid form. The containers of liquid acids are color-coded. The solid forms are relatively safe to handle and are prepared for use by mixing with water. The more common laboratory acids, however, are supplied only as concentrated liquids. Some acids are quite viscous, particularly in concentrated form, such as phosphoric and sulfuric. Here we see that the sulfuric acid on the left returns to rest after agitation much more quickly than the hydrochloric acid on the right. This is due to its higher viscosity. The more viscous materials present some handling problems that the less viscous ones do not. For example, here is a problem that can arise while handling concentrated acids. The high viscosity of sulfuric acid causes a drop to hang on the lip of the supply bottle. Since sulfuric acid is a powerful dehydrator, it absorbs moisture from the air, and after 30 minutes or so, the drop becomes large enough to run down the side of the bottle. This can mar whatever surface the bottle may be on, and can also get on the hands of the next person to handle the bottle. He may drop the bottle on the floor when his hand begins to burn, and the results can be serious indeed. the experience. 
what happens when a drop of sulfuric acid is put on a piece of cloth. The cloth darkens as dehydration begins. Then it becomes charred. And finally, the charred spot drops out, leaving a neat hole. Concentrated acids are brought to the proper dilution by mixing with water. To illustrate what happens when incorrect technique is used, the water is being poured into sulfuric acid. The water forms a layer on the surface of the acid, and a vigorous reaction occurs at the interface. This reaction gives off a large amount of heat, which is all concentrated in this surface layer. To again illustrate what happens when incorrect technique is used, water is added to concentrated sulfuric acid in a soft glass bottle. are obvious. In diluting sulfuric acid, never add the water to the acid. Add the acid to the water. The proper technique for diluting sulfuric acid is to add the acid slowly to the water, stirring constantly. The slow addition of the acid and the constant stirring prevent the formation of two layers. While the heat-producing reaction still goes on, the heat is distributed throughout the entire volume of the material and not allowed to concentrate. If acid should accidentally be splashed on the face, it is essential to remove the acid as soon as possible. An emergency fountain such as this one is more effective than trying to neutralize the acid with sodium bicarbonate. Flushing with water is the best way to remove almost any acid or other dangerous chemical.